Now she's chastising him like he's a child. He he shared this though. He told her about this. I know he hot. he did share it. Hello. Hi. I'm Mitch. I'm Ashley. This is Membry Ash. Welcome. And we're watching episode five of Love Is Blind Brazil. Oh, Much so awaited. Um, so excited. Thank you for everybody bearing with us as we as I was out, out on vacation for a week. I just got back and we're gonna start filming. Uh, see what happens next we got a lot of comments yes um i want to say specifically thank you so much to everyone that's been chatting with me over the past couple of days yeah thank you to everyone that has said kind things when i shared a somewhat personal experience on the last video and everyone's been super super nice yeah. and it's just been like very wonderful so thank you so much she feels more comfortable going on there now more comfortable <laughs> I still get nervous every time yeah. we post a video and I still get nervous responding to stuff because I want to make sure that I'm like, I want to make sure that I'm coming off the way that I feel. And sometimes I feel like that's yeah. hard to do in like a, like written text. Absolutely. That's like a scenario. classic thing is, is a uh, written communication is really hard to express feeling and like things like sarcasm and whatever. Yeah. yeah for I sure. get a pretty high level of anxiety over being like misinterpreted you know yeah and um i feel like yeah like texting is just kind of like rife for that so. yeah uh, i also want to thank people for correcting us some of some of our pronunciations alessandri in particular right alessandri yeah, i think um so. yeah you tell so us, we're, i guess another person said it's more a hinata than a renata the r was more of an h sound they said um so let that me know if that one that we're also closer to the like we knew we were messing up alessandri's name oh, for we sure. knew for sure that was and we, we cut a bunch of times in the background we're like i think it's this is it that is it alexander i don't know like it's <laughs> It's, it's obviously like the Portuguese version of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but it's, uh, we're wrong. Well, and, we uh, hear the people saying it, so you would think that it would sink in a little easier, but it doesn't. But yeah, it's super nice that everyone's been giving us input into how to say things better, because I definitely, that's like something I want to get out of watching this, for sure. And there are also tons of comments, people just try, like explaining like like what their interpretation of like elements of Brazilian culture is. I want to say one more thing too, just before we, sorry, we'll pro we'll give you a timestamp if you want to skip all yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, someone, thank you so much for telling us that our like beeping when we swear was just like way too loud. Yeah. Because we're making an effort now to try and quiet it down. And I would say too, like within reason, of course, but if you notice something like that, that would make your viewing experience a lot easier and is something like kind of small that we could, we could tweak. Like, please do say something. Cause I'm sure multiple people have been like, Oh my gosh, those were ear splitting yeah. loud. And, um, I would, you know, prefer that <laughs> if there's something like that, we're able to fix it. Um, and I, I really appreciate people being willing to like say something like that that you know is critical but helps us make our channel better yeah you know? yeah at the end of the day we want it to be an enjoyable experience i i want to talk about the show real quick though before we mm. get in uh, we lots of people talking about backgrounds of some of these people and giving hints about what will be happening nobody ruined anything for us so i want to say that foremost but a lot of people and i'm curious to see it is what happens with ariella and i think it might be this episode i don't, I don't know, know. We'll i don't see. think we should speculate until we watch it but i yeah. too am very very excited to see one more thing no we're, no, we're dubbing this one um oh, so uh yeah we're gonna try it out uh we're gonna watch it subtitled and we're going to put it out dubbed. that's just our preference for watching it. Yeah. But a bunch of people have asked for dubbed, and we've done four subtitled now, so I feel like... I think we're going to try four dubbed. Okay. And then we'll see what we do on the last Unless two. the feedback... I mean, we're doing these real time now, yeah. so give us the yeah, feedback. Yeah, us... And if your feedback is like, oh my gosh, this dubbing is horrific, we can't do it. Yeah. It might be funny, though. It right? might be funny. Like... Yeah, yeah. It might be kind of good. I'm a little excited, honestly, Me too. for the dubbing. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go in. All right, do it. All right, let's do it. Those of us who have been hitched before will now get a second chance at marriage. I just watched all these, so I remember like yeah. very specifically what happened. I, I'm a little rusty. How do you? Do you like dogs? I love dogs. Me too. People say that you're a princess. They do? One thing that we talked about after we filmed the first four was how, and some people talked, like, they're like, they wish Marcia was on the show. They had a bunch more diversity at the beginning of the show that didn't make it. There was Marcia who had uh, vitiligo. And, yeah. and you had all these interesting people that didn't fit a more basic mold in a way. Yes. None of them had matches. None of them are on the show. I know. it's And that sucks. Wasn't She was also Japanese, right? She, was, Japanese? she was part Japanese. Yeah. yeah. 
It really would have been cool if there right? had ended up being more diversity. Do you know we're the only ones who haven't nookie nookie? Health and greater sex. A toast to what? I don't have a problem with them banging at all. I don't I don't feel like I need to see all of the thrusting. I just don't <laughs> some of them I feel like are very aware that there's like there are cameras and they like understand what's gonna be yeah. shown. And then I feel like other ones, I'm just like do I they just know? wanna know for sure that they know that like that level of footage is gonna be shown. They're and just if signing they up do for it. And they're cool with it, then I feel way less cringy about it. Yeah. But it makes me cringe every time now because I'm just like, oh my gosh, like I know they sign off on it, but do they really understand? Yeah. She was acting all like it's cool, no biggie. We'll say this She could see that I was worried. She's fine. She took a tumble, she's okay. She's probably not gonna feel not great. She might have bruises all over and shit. Yeah. He froze up. He didn't want to drive anymore. And I was like, no, come on, let's go. Right. And they also put a guy that doesn't even drive a car on a, a pet. I know. Like, those things are dangerous. At least we got a great honeymoon story out. Oh, she has a really okay, good attitude yeah. about it. And she's, she's not great. hurt. Yeah. Right now, our faves are like Ingrid and Vanessa, I think. I love them. And they're all friends. It's really yes. cute. You like it? Oh my God, I love it. Look how beautiful so it is. Beautiful. Yeah, they're having fun. They gotta start with a positive thing because it's gonna hit the fan, I think. Well, yeah, because they're about to move in together. Oh, is that what this episode is? Yeah, I think this is like the After end the of the honeymoon. After the honeymoon? Yeah. Okay, all right. So they're gonna Honeymoon's leave. over. Yeah, they're gonna leave this beautiful vacation destination yeah. where they've got all their, everything's paid for, they don't have to go mm -hmm. to work. They don't, have, with family. They don't have cameras in the corner of every, well, no, actually, do they do that? They, they don't. They do cameras. They do camera, definitely camera in man. there. But not like watching you like have sex and stuff. Because Ariella kept right. saying that she didn't want to be physical in front of the cameras. I think I was me like mixing up Love is Blind and Married at First Sight. Because yeah. Married at First Sight puts cameras they everywhere. They do, yeah. No, I'm not really the type of person who worries about... Oh, I'm super worried. That kind of we were told that... Like, people in Brazil just really love ice because it's a hot country. I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. I, too, like ice. I just feel like they should have banned it for, like, for filming. audio purposes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but maybe it feels more immersive if you're from Brazil. Because you're just You're like, where's ice? the ice? Right. Well, it's like the opposite of what I'm saying. I love my family, but I need to be the one who makes the decisions about my life. I had to let people go. Wait, what? I don't know. I'm confused. Wait, did, did she just something? say that she's abandoned her family and she hopes he does too? I don't know. I don't, I'm very confused about what just happened. She said she loves her mom and her grandmother. And then she said basically like, but I've had to leave things behind. Is that what that means? I don't know. Also, like, I have to say, I mean, like, I have one family member I have a really complicated relationship with. Yeah. And like, I had to cut that person out yeah, for my own that happens. Health. Sometimes that's... Yeah. And it's still like it's a painful thing to have to do that. But Absolutely. like sometimes you have to protect your peace. You know? Mm -hmm. Remember what you said? You know, kids, pets, work, bills. Real life. It's so weird how well these two are mm. matched. I it's I didn't rewatch all the episodes that you post because I haven't had the time to. So for me I've I haven't recently seen how horrible she's been too. She was. Really I know. Mean. I remember though. I remember rewatching it. Oh. was like I got angry. Yeah. All over again because it's just cruel. Like there's no reason to act like that towards people. Basically, well, prey on their insecurities. Well, some people were saying that she was just mad that she got rejected. It's fair it's that petty. she felt some kind of way about uh -huh. being rejected, but then taking it out on Patrick and Marilia is just a weird mm -hmm. choice. I never really trusted Renata. After I told her that I was choosing Marilia, I feel like she was up to something. I feel like Renata is just better. And then unfortunately, Marilia, for some reason, trusts her and Which is, is weird. friends with her. Well, because she's kind of two-faced. I feel like, honestly, those two should absolutely not be friends. No, they shouldn't They shouldn't even like, talk to each no other. There's no world where those people should be yeah. friends with each other. And I tried to warn Marilia about her several times now. Oh, and, and he's like, yo, she's not a good friend. Like, watch your, watch your back. Which honestly is legit right now from what I'm seeing. Renata is my friend. Right. We're talking about people we've just met. Uh -huh. But you and me, we also just met. She's like, we just met? You just met Renata. You just met Renata. I don't know why she trusts her so much. Yeah, what's going on with that? I don't know. To a new old life. Old phones. To our new life, <laughs> but with old phones. You think we're going to have some pretty big fights? Just don't give me a reason. Or else we can start fighting right now. <laughs> they're putting this weird music I know. behind it, but they're really just laughing and like kind of poking yeah, each other. Yeah, right. That was like prodding. Like there's a yeah. thing, it felt more playful than it did intense. Yeah. But they might be foreshadowing because they do know where the where the show goes. I still have to figure my situation out. What? 
Like my socials. I don't know what it's going to be like when I log back in. The music again. The, the boom. I know. And it's they're always going way too hard smiling with that. and laughing yeah, at each right? other. And I'm like, they have no problem with each yeah. other. I get that there's like, there could be tension, but come on. I know it's not going to be just all sunshine and rainbows. It's going to be especially hard for the people that have access that they have kids with. Uh huh. Because you have to interact with those people. And then who knows how they're going to feel about introducing you, introducing your child to a new person. I don't know they're going to do that on the show, though. Do you think? I mean, it would be good drama, and they, they might try. They talked about it. They at the did. Beginning. They did. It doesn't mean they're gonna do it though. You're right. Yeah, I mean, but it's also just an additional layer for if any of these couples stay together, right? Or if they're thinking of staying together, because that could be comp. Oh, you're you're texting your ex again. There could be a lot of jealousy. Yeah, there could be a lot of weird sure. tension around that. Especially some of these people have not been divorced or separated long. That's true. One person, I think it's only three five, or four months. I think it's five. Five months. Dang. I always do this. I grab the phone and I just walk around. They're all talking about phones. Yeah, there's a lot of focus on the phone right now. And like social media and shit. I suppose that's an element of getting to know somebody that would be way more complicated now than it's ever been in the past. Yeah. And then if you talk about like, I recently saw a Washington Post article talking about what's cheating like online. Mm. Like in this age where you have access to like Instagram models and DMs mm. and all that stuff. Like what constitutes cheating? So it would be more complicated for them to talk about boundaries and all that stuff. We, we, I mean, we talked, I said on one episode how I can't just be following people that are posting like bikini shots all the time. Because right. I can't be liking those photos and they can't be showing up. Because I mean, like that's kind of a boundary for us, you know? Yeah. And, and I get that. So I then can't picture they're... you doing it anyway. Like, I don't know what I would do if that was, like, the kind of thing you did yeah. on a regular basis. Some people do that, though. But, like, yeah. like if you were really into, like, bodybuilding or something. Yeah. So there were, like, a ton of, like, women that showed up. Yeah, they were all, like... And you were, like, liking their photos all the time. <laughs> 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 or if you were, like, a club promoter or something like yeah. that. So you had all these, like, hot girls all Club over. promoter. <laughs> I can't. You'd just be a different person. So I can't picture it. Oh, he's a jealous type, he said. But I believe everyone has a right to their own life. And one thing I'll never do is try to control what my partner posts on social media. Oh, that's cool. I'm not going to control what you post. And mm -hmm. that was good. That, that's a good yeah. statement from him. I think that's like a healthy thing. Yeah. And this is the first time they're, 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 they're seeing each other's lives because they've been separated from their phones this whole time and isolated. But he's the jealous type. I am too, though. Is he? I know this girl. She liked one of your pictures. Is he actually getting jealous, though? Is he just saying that he's not going to do that and then getting jealous? Why is she liking your pictures? But she's the one getting jealous over here. Asking why someone's liking photos? I didn't flirt with her. I don't even follow her. I mean, it, 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 there's a lot of context that's missing here. Liking photos doesn't matter if, what if he has like tons of followers? Absolutely. He's inherently going to have women that are following him. And you can't, if you have a public profile, you really can't. You can't control who's Control how other people up. interact with you on it. Yeah. But unless you want to block people, but like they yeah. have to do something kind of egregious to do that. Are you trying to be like more zen? I am zen. She's zen? She never showed any zen qualities like that the whole time we were together. Who's she talking she about? She never showed any zen qualities? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. She is not cool and collected. No. But she wants to portray that. This is that classic saying what she does or is rather than being it. That is so weird to me because oh, it just could not be further from the truth. That doesn't match her personality at all. That kind of like, it's got to create like a cognitive dissonance yeah. or something when you think that you're one way, but you're so clearly not that way. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Sure. Feel free. <laughs> they keep adding the drum, like, like the, the, the sound effects. Hey, she's got your book. You think she wants your man too? Stop it. <laughs> There's a lot of like joking. Yeah. I, I somebody said in the comments that Brazilians are um, often playfully prod each other. Yeah. Like there's a lot of like ribbing and stuff, and and I do like that. I like it. I like too. the ribbing. There's a lot of laughter while they're kind of doing going through some relatively intense things. I like that most yeah. of the time, except when I'm super sensitive, and then yeah. I do not like it. Yeah, there's a time and a place for it. Yeah. If I'm already like over emotional. Yeah. I can't handle it. Yeah, it makes sense. And he said that there was someone he was hooking up with or whatever, but that was it, and he didn't really have a connection with her. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is Evandro being shady? I was really honest with her that we didn't have a connection anymore. I mean, it's a little unrealistic to expect that people Aren't didn't gonna... have relationships with people yeah. before they went on the show. The thing is, if you break it off appropriately and then don't, don't continue any contact, that's people that's People break fine. up all the time. Yeah, that's... So... It's way more than what I thought it was. 
It said, I'm on Love is Blind. I'll call you when it's over. You were calling each other love. Uh-oh. She's uh, jealous. He doesn't know what to say. He's just sitting there like, ugh. There were no feelings behind those words. He did Well, say, him saying there's no feeling behind the words is kind of shit. And he said, like, the, she said the last text was him saying, I'll call you when I'm done. Like, I'm going on Love is Blind and I'll call you when it's over. Wow, that's weird. A hookup is one thing, but going to Love is Blind while being in a relationship? It's hard, though. People yeah. define relationship differently. Yeah, I they hear really that. They really do. That's like, so like are you tough. official? Are you right. hooking up? Are you dating? Exactly. The day you came here, you were still calling her love. Also, calling someone love and saying you're in love with someone are two different things. It was more of a friendship than anything deeper oh really yes is he snaking or i i agree with like what you're saying know. here but him calling somebody love and then saying it's more of a friendship i, don't I know. know i feel like i feel like he's being a little shady i think she overreacted quite a bit you're talking to a girl and i also feel like she's overreacting i mean it really does depend though because people legitimately come on the show and they already have relationships it's happened yeah. it's happening all over the yeah. place at this point and it would there would be the tendency to feel yeah. like you're getting played it's just read you it read doesn't matter back. what it says yeah. because she's like reading in front of the camera is what she's saying yeah yeah uh we're gonna take a little ad break to give you time to smash that like button <laughs> Are you just gonna whoop, just toss her away like she's trash? Oh, she's upset too that he's just oh, dropping yeah. that girl. I mean, that's what I was saying. You calling somebody love and he's saying it didn't mean anything? Uh, and that would make me nervous about yeah. whether or not he was gonna treat me like that too. So she's trash. No, she's not trash. She's a person. So what? I what just is she didn't, to you? It's, and there's a lot of, so here's the thing. I, I get some a lot of this. But she doesn't also understand the context. And if he if he's like they weren't exclusive, that's what you're talking about. Like, is it a relationship or is it a hookup? What do you think? I don't know how I feel, to be honest with you, because I do think if I was in Ariella's situation, you feel pretty uncomfortable. I would feel uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I don't that. know that her attacking him over it is the right call. How do you feel about it? No, I hear that. It's like I don't know. That's when I started spiraling in my thoughts. Like, he couldn't just treat a girl like this. That's impossible. Yeah, she's feeling bad for that. At first, she's like, you're not even, you're dating somebody else. And then she's like, and you, now you're saying it's nothing? That's terrible. And she doesn't want to get treated like that. Yeah. So she's literally, like, putting herself in the situation of being that girl. Yeah. And thinking that you're this guy is going to come back to you and he's just going on a TV show yep. and he comes back engaged to somebody else. That's literally Trevor. Yeah. He did that. That's hard, yeah. too. Yeah. Like, that would be gut-wrenching. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's so much color, so much personality. Every detail is so cute and thought out. Oh, right. Hey, I really like your apartment. Oh, and he's being really nice about yeah. her apartment. I feel like I've seen seasons of this where when they see people's apartments, they're, like, kind of mean about it. Yeah. And it's such a reflection of a lot of these people's personalities that it feels really cruel to, like, be mean about someone's apartment when mm -hmm. you see it. It's a lot of personality goes into mm -hmm. the place you live. Totally. And I really like that he was so supportive yeah. of, of her. Don't make me do all the work. Please. Oh my gosh, he's such a child. It's out yeah. Of yeah. Man child. I wanted him not to be here so I could talk to my sister alone. The moment I saw her, I got worried uh -oh. because I know my sister. This is the problem too, because like she did know that he was going on the show. Yeah. And he didn't know he was going to find someone on that Absolutely. show. And the girl would have known that there was a possibility. From my point of view, it sounded normal. Everyone has a past. It seems pretty normal. He was dating somebody. He was like, yeah, you know, I'm out. I'm gonna, I'm going on the show. It could be normal. It could be normal. It could be not normal. She's letting that the guys being shady thing really get in her head. I understand sure. why it feels like a red flag. Yeah, I, I get it. Maybe too. I'm alone in this, but like, I, I really, I understand why it's a bit of a red flag. It's just tough because it's like. I don't really understand what he could have done differently. Yeah. I might be crazy and drunk, but don't treat me like an idiot. You're like, I don't know if you're really upset drinking a lot isn't a good idea. She's been, she's potentially been drinking all day. And I don't feel like he's treating her like she's an idiot. So I started thinking, is this really my fault? I don't think it is. I think if you have unresolved issues, it can blow up. So he's 100% putting it on her. I don't know how to feel about this. Yeah, I'm feeling, un I just get uncomfortable, really. <laughs> I, I'm confused. I'm confused, too. It's tough because sometimes people will lie. And then if you start to see those red flags, they'll make you seem like you're crazy. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Go live your life. I don't understand. Is she 
breaking, she up, breaking with up with him? him? If he had actually meant what he said, then there wouldn't be a text from the day he came to take part in the experiment. I feel like this is an arbitrary rule that she has in her head for him. This this reminds me of the guy on Married at First Sight where the lady hooked up with somebody two months before they went on the show yeah. and then he got mad about it and then yeah. basically slut shamed her. Yeah. It's kind of, and, and this is like different because the day of is, is different, right? That's different, but we also don't know the, the extent of all of it. I also think it's possible to have a friendship with someone where like you've slept with them before and, and then, then you're then just like you're kinda, telling them like hey yeah. i'm going on this thing like i'll reach out when i get back yeah, like absolutely. you know you're not gonna hear from me for a little bit maybe you used to hook up and then it just kind of like you're just like yeah you know what we are better just hanging out and you don't actually have that much of a connection i don't understand why she's attacking him so much and i don't think her drinking is making this any better yeah really i'm worried I about really you don't be i'm totally fine She's not fine. She yeah, she's really fine. not. I don't, this, this is kind of escalating really rapidly. If he is a piece of shit, we're not seeing it. We haven't it. seen it yet. It doesn't mean it's, that he's It's great. a flag. The red flag thing is really sure. the, the thing that's going on here, but we don't have, he's handling it all pretty well, given how she's coming at him repeatedly. I want him to be honest. I want him to be transparent. You have to accept that someone's, you're never going to know 100% that someone's yeah. being honest. So she's, you have to accept that they are. I agree, yeah. Or you have to break off the relationship. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're uncomfortable, then then split. I'm worried about her. That's the truth. I've got my phone right next to me. I feel kind of bad for her sister, too, because her yeah. sister is worried now. I'm super anxious and nervous, but I'm sure it will be fine. Hi! Oh, is that his kid? Oh. That's cute. I forget that he's a dad. Ugh. I forgot yeah. too, yeah. actually. Well, some of these people act so childish. I'm like, how do they have kids? It's like you and me. If we had a kid, it would be so kind of shocking, you know? It would be, yeah. Uh... But we're older than almost all these well, all these people. Yes. Yeah. My son is everything to me. He's my world. Oh, that's so that's sweet. sweet. That's sweet. He's gaining some points for me. Me too, he, did, he gained points when he defended Patrick, and he's gaining yeah. points because he seems like he's being a really like sweet father. Always been a dream of mine to have kids. Look, you gotta get the ball in there. He looks a lot like his dad. He's Does. a spitting image. Renato really has a way with kids. Apparently he told her that his kid liked chocolate yeah. pudding, so she made that for him. Which yeah. is just Unprompted. like such a, yeah, that's such yeah. a sweet thing to do. I want, I wish I could like her right now. I just need to see more change. I need to see her not be a shit, shithead to certain other people. I think I could entertain a world where that was like... A one-off? Yeah. Because she felt rejected? I still don't think it's good behavior, but... Yeah, I think it usually isn't a one-off, but... David. How are you? Hey, nice Patrick. to meet you. Patrick, Patrick. nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. These two, like her and her like... Her, like, uh, going to the bar clothes and everything. Their personalities really do match quite a bit. Yeah. Like, look at them. They look they look like a good fit. I can get along with anyone. I love making friends. I love meeting new people. He's so extroverted. Yeah. This is, like, his element. He's like, yeah, let's meet your friends. Hang out. Where's your ring? The, the ring. ring. <laughs> Mine's right here. Uh oh. Look. I just, I mean, we don't wear rings. Yeah. So yeah. I like, for me, it's not a big deal. Yeah. If someone didn't want to wear a ring or did or whatever. And also, you can cheat on people by just taking it yeah. off. So, yeah. So, like, the ring doesn't really it doesn't do anything. doesn't do anything, right? Ring off that necklace and put it on your finger. Screw that, you know? I'm too old for that. She's basically supporting him. She's like, yeah, whatever. That's good. Yeah. Because if they're going to make it work, they have to support each other. And there are lots of reasons why people don't want to wear rings. Like some people's hands swell. You fall in love with the person's energy there. And he's got a loud energy, just like me. They she do does. connect like that. Their energy is meshes so well. It really does. Yeah, they're totally. So he's a bit of a goofball and a, you know, party guy, but he's being nice to her. He's being good to her. Yeah. And like when Renata came really hard on his baldness, she was like, I don't care. It doesn't Yes. bother me like that's really supportive because that's a that's a self-conscious thing for a lot of people it is for him obviously i really like how confident she is because even when her yeah. like friends and family were like oh he's not wearing his ring put it on she did the same thing she's like you know what i don't care yeah yeah she's kind of freewheeling not a big deal maybe not as traditional and i think that's important to give if you love someone to give them the freedom to express themselves the way that they feel comfortable doing so. Like, if he's comfortable wearing that ring around yeah. his neck, like, he should be able to do that. Yeah. And it shouldn't immediately be a thing where he's, yeah. like, shady for doing that. And if he's wearing it, like, out it, and, and like, this, and people are like, oh, what's that? That's my wedding ring. Right. Like, it, if anything, it's more out there than it is on your hand. Because on your yes. hand, you're moving around, you're putting them down here. Like, here, it's right on your chest. Yeah. In a way that could, I'm not, and I, I get some people would disagree, but it could be 
more prominent. I already told Leticia that I'm taking part on uh, Love is Blind. I only told my sister. The rest of them didn't know. That's a big <laughs> thing to tell your family. That is. If you want me to be honest, I'm shocked. Yeah. yeah. That's a big news. I feel like he should have. I feel like he should have told them before he went, and then they would have had time to digest it Process instead it. of there. Can't there's camera crew now. Yeah, and that's where he's and telling. And that's them. where he's telling. Yeah, yeah and that's, that's really not fair. But that doesn't mean we're thrilled about it right now. Yeah, they needed time, and he didn't allow them that. Yeah. It's just too new, too sudden, you know. And I want to respect his feelings about this relationship, and I want him to respect ours as well. There we go. I like that. I want to respect him, but he needs to respect our t our hesitation. That's I like true. That too. I, that's a that's a good statement there. Yeah, he just kind of expected he was going to be able to walk in and they were going to immediately accept yeah. her. But like that's that's not realistic. He's here now. Yeah, she's here. Jesus. And then he's springing it. They didn't even realize he was springing her. It's her problem now. Wow, dude. Don't do Ingrid wrong. Oh my god. We'll come for you. I feel bad for Ingrid and his family. This yeah. is not a fair situation. Oh, Leandro. He says his family's really chill, so I'll believe him. Hi. <laughs> Man, I'd be mad if you just brought someone in I was meeting. Yeah. Like, You don't want to mention. meet people weeks out. No. With pre-planning and I know, and I need a dates. lot of a You need a big lead in. I do. Yeah. I want you to know, we're not playing around. They're one of the hopeful couples here. I yes. believe her. I believe Ingrid. I believe her too. I really like Ingrid. Is this a prank? <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's his face? Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher pops out from behind the couch. Uh huh. Punked. Punked. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You got punked. Is this your ex? What is that little white pillow? This? Oh, it's from the wedding too. Oh, from his previous wedding? Yeah. He told me he didn't keep anything from his last relationship, but he did. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, yeah, Him yeah, saying yeah. he didn't keep yeah. that stuff. If he had said like, yeah, I have some mementos. Well, then it also, like, depending on who broke up with who, if he broke up with her and he's keeping a few mementos, maybe that is like a, I would trust that more. It'd be like, okay, yeah. well, he had love for her. It didn't work out. Right. That's almost a sweet thing in a way. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. But if she broke up with him, if she was more the pusher and he's hanging on to all that crap. I'm still very apprehensive. <sighs> Maybe it's just because I know how this show often ends, but I'm just seeing red yeah. flags and everybody, and I'm not right? about it all. They're fine one minute, and then they start throwing out these random jabs. I feel like this is Leandro's Yeah, fault. Because yeah. Because if he had primed his family appropriately, this would be a different situation. And now they're like, who's this lady that's saying she's marrying my family member? Yeah. I think a relationship should extend to the rest of the family, to too. To the family, right? I mean, that statement alone feels like she's sore that she didn't get brought in on the... She's like, it's a relationship with the whole family. Family, and I'm meeting you for the first time. It's a little weird. I tend that is, to agree with that when people yeah. are really close to their family, yeah. or if he indeed is still living with his family. Mm -hmm. The fact that he didn't tell them, like a phone call, man. Yeah, a dude. phone call. Yeah, you know, even ahead of time, the day yes. before, two days before, Absolutely. you get you get in. Hey, yes, I'm engaged. The minute that you leave. Yeah. The honeymoon. And you get you your tell phone. tell them. Yeah. Exactly. The minute you get your phone back, you tell them. So, were you being honest with me? Yes. Really? This is one of those things where she won't believe he's being honest until he says, Ever. I'm still hooking up with her. That's Just the only thing she wants to hear. Well. Yeah. And she won't believe him. He keeps saying yes, and yeah. she doesn't believe him. You came here to find a real connection with someone. But you already had a connection with someone else. I told you a million times I didn't. So why is she telling him what his relationship was? Yeah. But get your phone out. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. And she wants to go back through. And he voluntarily showed her. I know, I know. Yeah. And then she's like, I don't like that. She just kept repeating the same thing. Yeah, she I can't mean, she get is. over. She can't get out of the loop. Yeah. You know? Well, she talked about spiraling, and that's literally what happens. Yeah. You and I have both had that. And when you're spiraling, you can't escape it. It literally captures your mind like i've stayed up for hours spiraling literally yeah. no, i'm just gonna just... grab my things and leave that's weird isn't it he doesn't care oh whether i gosh, leave or not dude i don't think it's that he doesn't care it's that if you as down. an adult she's tell him you're down. leaving he's not going to physically keep you there i know there. right it's like, like that's like respecting somebody's <laughs> yeah, decisions it's respectful it's for him thing. to allow her to leave them yeah yeah and not just fight with her you should have been honest with me oh my god i was sincere mm -hmm. you were now she's chastising him like he's a child. I shared everything. Okay. He 
he shared this though. He told her about this. I know in the he past. he did share it. He's actually honestly showing up pretty good in this scenario. I wanted her to read the part where I told that person not to reach out to me anymore because I was engaged. He reached out to her and said, "Where well, I'm engaged, don't reach out to me anymore." You were coming on Love Is Blind. Did you have some kind of secret deal I with her? So now she's telling him there was a secret deal. She's getting paranoid. He's handling it so well. Well, there are two possibilities there. He's not really here for any good reason. He doesn't care, or he's just pretty calm. He seemed pretty calm the whole time, to be yeah. honest. If you're gonna get upset, now would be the time because she's calling him a liar, saying that he's like there for the wrong reasons that he's being hurtful to her, to this yeah. other girl. Coming to love is blind while in a relationship, that's just great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you look at him just sitting there. I could see why he is yeah. like, I'm not engaging with this. Yeah. It's childish. Well, cause, but there's also, there's nothing, it, for me it's not as much childish as it is, There, there is an unwellness here. Oh, she just left the ring? With a big ass note? What? Okay. Um. Mm. That was uh that was kind of unfortunate, I feel like. What do you feel like happened there? Like in a nutshell, what do you feel like was going on with the Ariella and Evandro situation? Cause what's um, your I guess I'm trying to understand like factually, what's your understanding of the situation? Well, my understanding is that he was seeing somebody um that he had at least hooked up with yeah. up until the up until the very beginning of the show. And, and he's then, saying not exclusively. And he's saying just kind of somebody that, that yeah. I, I enjoyed the company of, but... Like a friends with benefits situation Kind of. It's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. And then, um, and then when he got on the show, he's like, hey, I'm going on the show. You know, we're just hooking up. Like, I'm yeah. letting you know it's... He's, in a way, it's possible. And if we believe him, he's being completely above board. He's saying, sure. hey, hook up person that I enjoy the company of, but I'm not really dating. Yeah. I'm doing this thing. He also, comes back and then he says... This is done. I'm engaged. Because if he... And I also think that there's a scenario where, like, if he came back and he had not found someone and he was not engaged, maybe perhaps like, hey, they would have continued yeah. hooking up. Yeah. And yeah. maybe it could have turned into something more. Maybe not, because he's saying it was more of a friend's thing. Sure. Like, like you know, it was fun, but, like, whatever. And sometimes you have, like, people... It's my understanding. Yeah, <laughs> it's my understanding, because we don't know. Because I don't really know. But yeah. it's my understanding, or I've had friends, too, that, like, you have someone that you, like, you enjoy spending time with, but you know for whatever reason it's, it's not, never... like, a lifelong, yeah. like, relationship connection. Yeah. And you just, you know, you enjoy being with each other while you're together, but neither of you have any illusions that it's going to last forever, you So, know? So if he is to be believed mm -hmm. with what he tells the camera, mm -hmm. she's fixating on previous messages when the most recent message is i'm engaged we can't talk anymore if he did that i have no qualms with those texts at all and she's spiraling out of control here i still think it's fair to be uncomfortable her, yeah yeah for her no to feel yeah a little yeah. awkward about it that's not a problem that's, that's actually not, not a problem. problem at all but yeah the way that she is reacting oh, dog is with a bone not good she won't she won't let go she's kind of like She's all over the place. She's drinking too much. She's getting mad at him. She's sort of yelling. It's not like super verbally abusive, but she's getting really over the top a little bit with some well, of this. And like pressuring someone, continuing to yeah. say to someone, you did this. And he's like, no, I didn't. Like I didn't. And then instead of her being like, you know, I this makes me feel bad. She's like, you lied. That's You're true. a liar. She's not expressing herself from her feelings and her understanding. She's expressing herself as though she has the truth. Right. And he won't admit it. Yes. And that is really unhealthy, too. It is so unhealthy. I mean, unless there's like literally a smoking gun. But even then, like you can't argue somebody into seeing your perspective. Really, also, like, she's arguing with him about his intentions. And yeah, like, right? she's basically being like, no, I know what your intentions were. And they were this other thing that you're now lying about. And like, that really bothers me. Yeah. Because like, I do not like the idea you that someone mind else read. would come to me and tell me, like, I would say, you know, this is the background behind this. These were my intentions. And yeah. he didn't hide it from her. She admitted he told her in the pod. He, and then he also showed her the messages yes. on the phone. Right. Voluntarily. Voluntarily. And then the idea that someone would come at you and say, no, that wasn't your intention. Your intention was this completely other thing. And then try and make him like feel yeah. bad or apologize to her. Or I don't even know what her end game was in yeah. all of that. That really bothers I've me. Got a, I've got to ask something. Yeah. Didn't she say her previous relationship ended pretty bad? Did she I get cheated remember. on? 
I don't remember. I feel like I would like to, and people can correct us or let me know if they remember. Yeah. I feel like that's what I'm seeing here is that she's been burned oh, in the past. I think you're right. She she's was cheated on in her paranoid last Paranoid as fuck. She is not healed. She is not like she probably needs some therapy, and I mean that as I say that as somebody who's had therapy and it's helped. Yeah. Like she probably she like so people are a lot of people. I I wouldn't come for her because she's not being like horrible, you know. But she's like she's unhealthy for a relationship right now, is what yeah. it seems like. Because it almost feels like something would happen eventually, no matter what. Yeah. And, and I also want to say something too. I feel like love is blind and Netflix casts people like this because they know the drama will happen. So like she shouldn't. She shouldn't be in this position. She shouldn't have put herself in this position. She was casted because this would would occur. It's really I feel hard, like. though. So as much as I want to blame Netflix, because yeah. I do like blaming them for things. This isn't the worst thing in the world, too. I just well, want to say that. And, like, I don't know if you can necessarily see this kind of stuff coming with everybody. That's because true. if she believes herself to be healed and from better. this scenario. And looking for love. She said yes. it. She was very committed. She was into the yes. experience. And that's what she expresses yeah, to true. them. And then they ask her questions, trying to get at, like, whether she's okay. Yeah. And she answers those well. That's totally yeah. different than her being in a scenario where she feels like there's, like, cheating-level behavior uh-huh. happening. And, like, that clearly has, like, set her off. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. Like, oh, I don't... Sad. Yeah, I don't... I'm not mad at her. I don't hate her. And same with him. Like, like yeah. I don't... I'm, I'm actually struggling to see especially with the last information that we were given. I'm struggling to see the people are, some people are saying in the comments, certain other things about him. I'm not bringing that into the question right now because I don't know really, but it's so hard because um, we only, and inter- yeah. you know, we have, she would have similar information to what we have other yeah, than having kind of spent time on. with him, but mm-hmm. she wouldn't know anything about his past that like yeah. he wouldn't have shared with her because it was unsavory. Right. She wouldn't yeah. know that. But then the other thing that bugs me. So, okay. All right. Ariella appearing fairly mentally ill in this episode, which yeah. is really sad. And I don't think she needs to be on the show yeah. right now. It's I don't feel like this is healthy. Saying that as mentally ill people. Yes. At times in, in a kind of ongoing. I don't mean yeah. that in an insulting way. Yeah. I like mean in a, that in a health way. Like sometimes you are physically unwell. Mentally unwell is a type of physical yeah. unwellness. Yeah. It's just with your brain. Yeah. Because you know? your brain's part of your physiology. Yeah. Yeah. So like in no way do I mean that disparagingly at all. But pretty clearly, I feel like she needs to not be in this scenario. Regardless of what's going on with him. Yes. Like, we're seeing Absolutely. things here where it's just it's just yes. old trauma coming she up. She needs to and not be participating I don't feel this. like that's weaponized against her. I think that's really happening. And also, yeah. her sister coming in and saying, I'm worried about her. I know yeah. what she's like. Yeah. She's seen her spiral before. She's seen her go through shit. And now she's like, it's happening again. Yeah. It's basically what it sounds like to right. me. And, and if the sister's saying that, that's legit. And I think, too, it can be fair that you think that you've healed from something and then yeah. you have not. Because well, you don't really know until you get experience with the trigger. Oh, I'm getting upset. Oh, I'm getting upset. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting upset. But it's true that happens, you know? Like, you don't realize how impacted you've been by something. Or you think, like, oh, I'm good. This amount of time has passed. Or, like, these milestones have been hit, so I feel like I'm good now. And you're really not good. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I get that. You know? Some stuff just sticks. Like, I don't think people realize, like, how like detrimental certain experiences can be in your life. And especially if you're a sensitive person. And, like, her sister was talking about, you know, her emotions. She's really happy when she's really happy. She's really upset when she's really upset. I think sometimes, like, you know, I'm a little bit like that. And sometimes, yeah. like, stuff sticks really hard, you know? Yeah. makes it harder to get over stuff. I'm just, like, do, breaking do down. Do you need a minute? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. I'm just, like breaking down over the situation oh anyway i feel bad for her i mean we've both been in a position like her yeah like mentally unwell and spiraling yes. basically absolutely and like i have really, a lot of compassion for that yeah, yeah. it sucks to watch it on yeah. tv it really does because like, i think it's like why we're not popping off at her too because no. like because she's she's hurting and like she's throwing some shit at him but he'll be fine She's the one that's kind of not okay right now, you know. I do like, feel bad for him I though do feel bad in this him, scenario. Yeah. And true. again, I like agree. I've seen That's unfortunate. Seen, that's unfortunate. I've seen some stuff that people have said, like, I can't I'm just going off this. I don't yeah. feel like he deserves the way that she's treating him right now. Well, because if he also if he's done other things, that's about him and those people, mm-hmm. not him and her. Yeah. Like absolutely. in this situation, he's kind of getting attacked here for yeah. showing her information freely. He's treat what yeah. we've seen is him treating her incredibly well on the honeymoon, yeah. him trying to initiate and intimacy her not being interested in that him trying to be straightforward and upfront with her about 
his past and, and the maintaining fact that he, his cool the whole way. Absolutely. While she and I do feel like she was raising her voice to him. She was. She like, was. And she was pointing and yes, hands all over. Yes, I do feel over. like it was it's akin true. to like yelling even if she yeah. wasn't like yell you know what I'm saying? Well there's like, also like that maybe there's part of that language thing. Like if I hear somebody yelling in English, I feel like maybe I'm a little bit more sensitive to the tonality differences or like the volume yeah. and stuff than I am in like somebody yelling in a, in a language I don't understand I don't yeah. quite understand but I don't it felt quite like that vibe. like chastising That's him true. yelling at him and like and I don't sitting on the bed like fair. standing up and pointing down at him and like yeah yeah I do appreciate too when he said he's like she's trying to make this like I did something wrong and he's like but I don't feel like I did yeah. and I do think that's important sometimes like it's important to take other people's uh input into consideration and be like okay they're mad at me did I do something wrong? Yeah. But it's also important to, like, know in your gut, like, I really don't. Like, I'm looking at it. I don't feel like I did anything yeah. wrong here. Wow. Like, I don't feel like this is me. And I don't feel like it's him. I feel like it's her. Yeah, I In agree. this scenario. And it's, uh, is she off the show or is there going to be more drama next episode? I don't, I don't know. know. I really just, like, I kind I of hope she's off the show. that she's off the show because I just really don't enjoy the idea of watching, like, drama that's, like... People, taking advantage of people in like a yeah. compromised situation like emotionally yeah. like she's in a place where like I wouldn't if I was in that place I would not appreciate the cameras being on yeah. me and especially well, and then, in a way where like you can't control how that gets edited like mm-hmm. I don't like I control all of this if you see me crying on here like we I've decided consented. to put it up and in fact right. we we always have re- rewatched the episodes not yeah. only for just making sure that we stand by everything we're saying but also right. like stand by the emotions we're showing or yeah. the, how much of our of ourselves that we're putting out there yeah and you, you and I both okay it, except yeah. for when if one of us isn't around, we sure. do our best. But I think we try and take each other into consideration. Yeah. When you have producers and they're just putting whatever they want on there, they're gonna put up the most sensational stuff possible. Absolutely, it's, it's a shitty and situation I, to be I in. I don't really want to see another episode with her in this kind of emotional state. I feel like it's like exploitative uh, at a certain if point. If after this, for sure. Even though it's like valuable stuff, and I do feel like there's a lot that you can like glean from this and learn from this yeah. as like a human being, but. I just don't love that, like, I I feel like she's being taken advantage of. At this point. Yeah. Well, I mean, especially if there's any continued, like, element to this. Yeah. So, I mean, that's the end of (gasps) Ariella on the show. I hope hope. so. I don't think we have time to talk about anything else. I don't feel like anything else happened. Uh, Yeah. Everything else is nothing. Um, Renata was pretty chill. Yeah. She was great with Alexandre's kid. I I liked him as a dad. Me too. Um, the Ingrid stuff is a little annoying because he set that up to that was to annoying. fail. Um, Vanessa meeting Leonardo's Leonardo's uh, mom was heartwarming, adorable. Heartwarming. I mean, what else? What else can really be said? I think Marilia and uh, and Patrick Patricia were were really pretty cute because they're they they're vibing. You know, that's a good vibe. Yeah. At least, and for some of these people, it's like at least they're having fun on the show together. Maybe and they're they both won't get fun married, people, but yeah, yeah and they seem fun. to be having a good yeah, time together. Right? Yeah, totally. Despite totally Netflix cool trying to put like weird Ba-bum. intense music behind Ba-bum. like them laughing and smiling. Yeah, at each right, other. right. Some some of this <laughs> editing is kind of strange. <laughs> like, okay, weird. I don't know. Maybe some people feel feel they they saw something different. And of course, a lot of Brazilians are watching. So if you have oh, some different yes. interpretations, love to hear it because maybe there's for like sure. some subtext that we're not picking up on. Yeah, because a lot of stuff is cultural when you're talking about like like well that's what we talk about like 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 um humor and or uh sarcasm things like that there's a yeah. lot of like phrasing and stuff that could be very missed if you're not a yes. native speaker so if you missed so, anything let us know you let us know yeah and we know that you will and we're gonna hold and, and i just want to clarify with people because i don't i feel like i've heard renata on the show if it is more of a Hinata, i will be sh- saying that when ale said her name he said it different than the way we say it, for sure. Okay, yeah. It didn't, it didn't sound okay. the same. Okay. I'm not sure how to make my mouth do that. Hanada? <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's like an R-H combo or if it's like an H or whatever. Just, mm-hmm. yeah. I'll work on that one. Um, <laughs> if you made it this far, please give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more. We're doing the whole season. Um, and I think we're going to get them all out by the time the new episodes come out. So we should be pretty much on target with the new episodes. Yep. We're also watching The Mole. If you want to watch us... Watch them all. Watch it's with act- us. It's better than I thought it was going to be, it's honestly. It's fine. The first episode Episode good. one was good. Yeah, so, yeah, if you out. haven't seen that, check that out. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, and then I got it the not. And I started going, Woo! Ridiculous. Oh, that was a tearjerker. Hey, we're going to go on a cruise this summer. You should come with us.